now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Well, not too bad this evening. Cool to mild conditions with temperatures just kind of hanging in the 50s and we'll still be dry for a few more hours. But it looks like by late evening, rain chances will be on the rise about 56 degrees at 11 p.m. Our best chance of rain in the Dayton area after about 9, 10 o'clock. But if you live farther west and north of the Dayton area, it could be there an hour or two sooner. A 53 degree reading tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, 56 at noon. We still could see some showers around sunrise or shortly thereafter, but the rain should cut off even some breaks in the clouds late day, but colder air starts to move back in, so not much rise in temperatures throughout the day tomorrow. Showers tonight and through shortly after sunrise, as I mentioned there, and of course up in Cleveland tonight, they've moved the start time up to 7.08 for the game. Uh, temperatures will be in the 40s, cloudy skies, and there will be a chance of rain up there. That'll be mainly after about 9, 10 o'clock uh, for the Cleveland area too. And clearing skies for our area Thursday night, we should see lots of sunshine, warmer conditions. By the end of the week and uh, even into early next week, it looks like above normal temperatures will continue. Highs tomorrow, upper 50s for us to about 60 at Cincinnati. You can see the readings in the 40s to the north into Michigan and even up around Toledo. Right now, partly to mostly cloudy sky on the Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera. We saw the clouds break a bit, some hazy sunshine this afternoon, even a period of some partly cloudy skies and still some breaks in the clouds out there. But we'll see those clouds increasing again later on this evening. Evening as we cloud back up and the rains to the west of us tonight coming across Indiana, central, north central Indiana, uh, back out to about Terre Haute, Indiana, Champaign, Illinois, all moving eastward. So this is the rain that will be impacting our area for the overnight hours. An area of low pressure up near Rockford, Illinois, that will be swinging eastward across the Great Lakes tonight. Open the door for that cooler air tomorrow, but it won't stay around for very long. Right now we're at 58 degrees, which is pretty much the high for the day. Uh, southern part of our region, even up into the low to mid 60s today. Currently an east wind at 8 miles per hour, but where that wind turned more south and southeasterly, we saw temperatures climb into the lower end of the 60s down to Butler, Warren, Clinton County, uh, Kettering, Barbara Richards, 62 degrees, Bill Tells Row and Xenia at 60, and even a 60 degree reading reported up in Bradford by Scott Biesecker. But a uh, lot of upper 50s on the map, and even cooler in the northern Miami Valley, some mid 50s as you get into those northern counties. With that Warm front lifts northward tonight, keeping us in the mild air most of the night. But then this cold front comes by late night tomorrow morning. Uh, some showers with the front, behind the front, though. Back to dry weather later tomorrow morning and afternoon. And then high pressure builds in. Should clear our skies out for Friday night or Thursday night and into Friday morning. And we should see quite a bit of sunshine during the day on Friday. Uh, and temperatures will start to warm up, too. Our forecast tonight, showers develop. It'll be cool overnight, low 53 degrees. Tomorrow, some morning showers, mostly cloudy after that. Breezy and cool, upper 50s, west northwest wind 10 to 20 miles per hour. 54 at 10 o'clock, 56 degrees at noon, 57 at 2 p.m., and some of those breaks in the clouds late day with temperatures in the mid 50s. Down to 40 Friday morning, up to 66 with mostly sunny skies. Should see a lot of sunshine on Saturday, 75 degrees after morning low of 55. Then the rain chances back on Sunday, a little cooler, 64, but we Warm it up again for Halloween and the first day of November. It could be back into the low 70s by then. So the trick or treaters this year, hey, they're not going to have to wear an overcoat or put on shoes to boots to tramp through the snow or anything. They're like in that. for a treat this year with the weather. They are going to yeah. have a treat.